In this video, we look at the concept of abstraction in a bit more detail. We often need to remove some details and highlight others to improve the clarity of what we're trying to convey. Take the example of London. Here's a satellite view of part of the city. Here is a very different version of the same image. This time the road layouts are clearly highlighted. This version is highlighting the area's rail network. This one focuses on local parks and green spaces. Finally, this image shows locations of interest for tourists, such as hotels and museums. All these maps are accurate representations of London in one way or another. However, only the satellite view photo is a true representation, but arguably it's also the least useful. All the other images are abstractions. Certain details have been removed and others highlighted. Without abstraction, it would be difficult and confusing to model and display certain features. In computer science, abstraction is a method of computational thinking and problem solving that focuses on what is important. For example, when you save a file, where is it actually stored? How is that data being represented? Well, this level of detail is abstracted. Users don't need to know this. Users only need to be able to create, open, move, save and delete files. They don't need to be concerned with how it all happens behind the scenes. So what's important in the user interface of a sat-nav device? The image shown here would be pointless. It's realistic, but the driver might as well look out the windscreen. So what should be included on the display? What is less important? Well, we want to include and highlight things like the location, the road layout, and additional icons such as volume, time, maybe the signal strength. But we can remove things like the buildings, the trees, the countryside. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. Why do we need to use abstraction in computer science? Thank you.